Question 22, there you go, wave function. Nice, if you learnt your routine, just launch yourself into the routine then. Expand that to get two terms that you can equate with those two. Let's we'll keep that K out of it just now. So cos goes to cos cos minus sine sine. I'll just cosmetically pull out the coefficients just to emphasize them. Because the way it works is then I've just got to equate the two parts. The coefficient of cos has got to be the same. So if that's got one, then that means that equating the coefficients, k cos a equals one. Sines, that's got negative root three, that's got negative this, so this must equal root three. k sine a equals root three. I've got a pair of simultaneous equations, although you may well solve that not by even stating that or knowing that. So the technique would be, if you square them and add them, the sines and cosines will disappear, because sine squared and cos squared makes one, leaving you just with k squared is one squared plus root three squared. So k squared is one plus three, which is four, so k equals, that's getting messy, k equals two. It's one of the answers that's what we're looking for, they're just looking for k and so on. And then to get rid of the k's, divide them. Do two divided by one. That way you've got sine a over cos a for that side equals root three over one for that side. And of course that makes tan a. So the tan of a was root three. From this part, the sine was positive, the cos was positive. So the tangent's gonna be in the first quadrant. It's gonna be between zero and, I should really check this again because I've been lazy with degree signs and so on and so on. It's in radians, so between zero and pi up in two. If you can't remember which one's which with that. The 30, I've put the 30 down, but that's one, that's two, that's root three. So the tangent would be the tangent of 60, which is pi upon three, which means A equals pi upon three. So the whole thing would be two cos x plus pi upon three. Right, that's the first bit. So for part B, find the points of intersection in the graph of this thing, which will just be the same as that thing. Now that can be quite a bad question, but it doesn't actually actually draw it, it just wants to know where it cuts. I'll draw a picture anyway. So I've got, I'll just put the x-axis down because I know it's shifted. It's a normal cosine, there's no pluses or minuses, so it's going to be symmetrical about the x-axis. So a normal cosine would be going up and down by the same amount, something like that. See, so this one's been shifted back, pi up in three. So that means the y-axis is going to be about here. Which means it's starting there, so if I was drawing the graph, I'd have to go up and cut back down again till I'm level with it to make that part 2 pi. But it's not asking for that, it just says, where does it cut the axis? These three points. Well, those are easy, because since it's symmetrical, those are just shifts of the normal points of, a, of the cosine, which are pi upon 2 and 3 pi upon 2. So they've just been shifted back, but I think I'll do the y-axis first. So where does it cut the y-axis? That means x equals zero. So that means y is just this thing. Two cos of zero plus pi upon three. Two cos pi upon three, which is two times. Again, if you can't remember, you can draw your triangle out one more time. Pi upon three, that's the 61. So that must be um, the two there, the root three there and the one, that's a half. Two times a half, which is one. So it cuts the y-axis at zero, one. That's the first bit. Now, where does it cut the x-axis? Well, I don't need to use equations for that because it's just a simple shift. The two points would be this. I'll just call them x1 and x2. x1 would have been pi upon 2, but it's gone back pi upon 3. So I'll just change that all over to 6. So that's 3 take away 2 is 1. So that's pi upon 6. So one of the points of intersection is pi upon 6, 0. x2 would have been 3 pi upon 2, that's the 270, but it's going back pi upon 3. So that means out of 6, that's going to be 9, I'll just put the button down, take away, that goes in 2 minus 2, so that's going to be 7 pi upon 6. So the other point of intersection is going to be 7 pi upon 6, 0. So there's the three points of intersection with the axis.